Good morning, students. My name is Bhushan Shekhar Boir from Accounting and Finance Department in Changu Kana Thakur College. We are going to uh, today. We are going to learn the auditing, and in auditing, we are going to see unit unit second, that is audit planning procedure and documentations. Before begin with our session, we would like to know the term auditing. We have an idea about the concept of an auditing. Auditing means we examine all the detailed transactions happens throughout the year. We examine that transaction, we analyze that transaction with every evidence and proof. That is an auditing and that audit is done by either an individual or a firm which must be a CA. That person must be a CA. That is an auditor and the process which is done by an auditor is called an auditing. So in unit 2, that audit planning procedure and documentation we are going to see. Audit planning means what? In audit planning procedure and documentation, there are 4 chapters that is audit planning which we are going to see today. Then audit program, then audit working papers, what are the audit working papers we use by an auditor and audit notebook. What is an audit notebook? that four chapters in there in module 2 audit planning the meaning of an audit planning the planning the audit includes establishing the overall audit strategy for the engagement and developing an audit plan which includes in particular plan risk assessment procedure and plan responses to the risk of material misstatements planning is not a discrete press of an audit but rather continual to iterative process that might begin shortly after or in a connection with the completion of the previous audit and continuous until the completion of the current audit. So audit planning in simple words before the audit process start the auditor plan entire activity which is going to be happen in those days. Audit plan uh, made by an auditor with the work allocation towards their staff. Uh, as per the capability and skill of the staff, the auditor assign the work in audit planning. Audit planning is most important factor in auditing because if there is a proper planning, then only the audit work will be done effectively. Definition of audit planning. An audit planning means developing a general strategy and a detailed approach for the expected nature, timing and extent of the audit. The auditors plan to perform the audit in an efficient and timely manner. So in definition we can see that the nature and timing and extent of the audit is very important approach. The auditor plans that to perform the audit. Auditor always plans before the actual process is been done. Auditor always plan in an efficient way what will be done in near future. An audit plan is a specific guidelines to be followed when conducting an audit. It helps the auditor to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence for the circumstances, helps keep audit cost at a reasonable level and helps avoid misunderstanding with the client. As we know that there are a proper evidence, there must be a proper evidence for the audit process. So in audit planning, they are going to arrange all the necessary documents, uh, paperwork, vouchers, etc. for the audit procedure. Then factors, very important questions which can be asked. Factors to be considered before audit planning. What we should be considered, what are the important factors before we uh, start the audit planning. So the following are the factors that the auditor must consider while planning an audit. First one is the size of your company. As per the size of the company, the auditor plan their activity. The size of your company plays an important role in the audit process. It affects the performance of auditors and impact their works. When it comes to conducting an examination of any business operation or process auditor, first determine the company size. It is, it is essential because, of, because the size of company decides the size of audit team. It does not matter whether you are building an in-house audit team or hiring a third party. The company size does matter and must be considered first. So 
in simple word we can say that as per the size of the company the audit team uh, decided the plan like if the size of the company is huge then there will be a huge team for the audit process and it is the most important the first factor which to be considered while deciding the audit plan the second point is working infrastructure the second most crucial factor in the work of work or business infrastructure before planning the audit auditor need to know about the working infrastructure of a company the things that makes this factor most important is it helps auditor to make a plan that perfectly align with their working infrastructure moreover it helps them explore the weak areas that should be improved while directing the audit team to draft an efficient and effective audit plan that does not impact the working infrastructure instead to improve it so in this uh, second point we know the working infrastructure before doing the audit plan the third point is working environment the working environment is another critical factor that comes in the audit process it can be well explained as before construction of any building engineers visit the site to come across whether the plan will work or not so here during this site visit engineer list some factors that might affect the construction likewise or like whether the government approves the project health and safety of the workers impact of the environment type of the equipment required quality of material how many workers are required and how much time will be project to complete in light of the above mentioned factor engineer finalize the approve the site of the construction thus the working environment matter in lot of the audit process then the fourth point is experience with clients business of small and large scale daily work with the thousands of brands and people so they have to experience of what their clients want in audit planning the experience with clients is the most crucial factor that must be kept in mind when the third party audit team is assigned the role of examination if the client does not get what they want they will leave you and try elsewhere thus a company's experience with the clients also helps auditor draft an effective plan that gives a customer centric result the fifth point is knowledge about client business every auditor must know the entire must have an idea about the business of his client while audit planning knowledge about the client business is extremely important it won't be easy to draft an examination strategy without it if you know if you are hiring a third party to audit your business operation this factor must be considered while you have built an in-house team then a brief overview is enough but when you are doing with a third party you must have an idea about that entire business activity knowledge client business will explore the things and give clues on how the audit plan should be made the next point is throughout the identification of the problem an audit is examination of business operation it can be done to check the financial records major success evaluate health and safety comply with government rules collect evidence generate real time incident accidents reports pinpoint weak areas work standards etc there are many things to be considered while evaluating an organization or its operation with this examination auditors identify the problem that create a barriers to the production and success and very important through the identification is problem we can come to know the what will be the actual problem comes before us while drafting the audit auditors plan then next one healthy coordination between auditor coordination is the key success while doing team work or executing any plan it is crucial to set healthy coordination between all the members similarly the audit planning healthy coordination between auditors lead to a successful examination while producing results within no time so again today we have seen the factors which to be considered before starting the audit planning uh, that's all for today thank you